Hey, yo everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video, and today we're going to be doing my Andrew Cutter Picks of the Weeks. Basically what this video is, for those of you that are new to my channel and know nothing about this video series, I take a look at this week in DC Comics. Then I select the comic that I enjoyed the most and declare my Andrew Cutter Pick of the Week. In addition to that, I will talk about anything news or update related pertaining to the world or my channel. Uh, so, with that said, this is going to be a fairly quick Andrew Cutter pick of the week because it's 10.02 right now that I'm recording this, and I have to be up early tomorrow morning for work, so let's get at it. Um, this week in DC Comics is my biggest week, week four. Um, I don't know why, I just get almost every single comic that comes out this week, uh, although Blackhawks, which comes out this week, is getting canceled. Is there anything else getting canceled? No, it's just Blackhawks. So, uh, comics that I picked up. Uh, Dark Knight, issue number 7. All of them, issue number 7. Superman. Uh, Aquaman. Flash. The Savage Hawkman. The Flash. There's a lot of these before everything. The Fury Firestorm. The Nuclear Man. Might as well say, The Voodoo. The Voodoo. Uh... The Blackhawks. The All-Star Western. Ah, just kidding. Screw it with you guys. Uh, Justice League Dark. I Vampire. And Teen Titans. Uh, so yeah, you know, on the whole, this week was a pretty good week. There was only a few comics that really didn't impress me that I think I gave like a 2.5 out of 5 stars. Um, but yeah, it was a, on the whole a pretty good week. If I had to select a comic for this week, there were three comics that stood out the most to me, and probably three comics I enjoyed more than the others. Let me just put the others back here. Uh, those comics would be I, Vampire, which is uh, part of the start of the Rise of the Vampire arc, uh, Voodoo, and The Flash. Uh, these are the comics I enjoyed the most, but which one of them stood out more than the others. Uh, well, I Vampire was good, but it wasn't quite as good as Flash or Voodoo. If I had to pick between the two, I would have to go with Voodoo this week. Flash was fantastic, don't get me wrong, uh, but Voodoo had a lot of ups and downs, a lot of twists and turns. Uh, really good. Uh, the it hit Spoiler alert, if you haven't read this yet, spoiler, major spoiler. I assume people that have watched this video has read the comic or have uh, looked into it, but a uh, certain character gets killed, um, and it was, what?! kind of thing. Uh, someone left a comment saying that they were mad and they yelled at their comic when this person got killed because, uh, well, they just did, and, you know, I have to agree, I got upset. But, for the sake of the story, it worked out very well. Um, you know, the two voodoos coming out of here, Priscilla and Voodoo, the clone and the original, uh, the story, the backstory is great, and for a comic that I picked up on a whim, that I wasn't going to pick up normally. I just, you know, I said, eh, might as well give it a shot. And for a comic that I was going to drop, boy, am I glad I didn't drop it. And boy, am I glad that I gave it a shot. This comic is turning out to be one of the treats of the new DCU for me. Uh, it really has turned out to be a good comic. Uh, if you're not picking up Voodoo, I recommend you do pick it up and enjoy it. Plain, plain, and simple. Pick it up and enjoy it. Um, if you can't get the individual issues, I know in September, because I have a list here of all the trades that they're doing, Volume 1 is going to be out in September, so if you want to get the trade, get that. But Voodoo, Andrew Carter Pick of the Week. Like I said, this is going to be a quick video. There's not much in ways of news. Uh, I'm going to have two of what I am thinking coming up. Uh, one comic book related, one not comic book related, kind of personal related. And then I've got some video game stuff I want to talk to you guys. Um, there's two games that I have actually beaten today. Uh, and those games would be, uh, first and foremost, is Kid Icarus Uprising, which I got at launch and um, I've been playing over the past week since Friday. Uh, on a whole, really love this game. I give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, the characters were great. The story was great. Great amount of content and uh, achievements to get. Uh, the gameplay was good. This uh, overall, the the main ca uh, campaign was good, and the multiplayer is good. Uh, the only thing I didn't like is that the characters broke the f uh, fourth wall a lot, and um, 
the stylus control in the uh, mid stage areas were a little rocky, but other than that, it was really good. And you know what? The the, the voice acting was pretty good, which is saying something about a video game. So I I beat Kid Icarus Uprising today. I beat it when I was picking up my niece from school, and then I beat Okami for the first time today. Boy, was this game long. Uh, they give it a 9.5 out of 5. I mean, yeah, 9.5 out of 5. That's a really good score. 9.5 out of 10. Um, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Really good game. Really enjoyable. They call it very Zelda-esque. And uh, I would have to agree. It does feel like a Zelda game. The only real complaint I had with this game was the fact that sometimes I would get lost. And with big open world games like Oblivion or Zelda, usually you have an indication on where to go with this. They didn't give you one. Uh, but on a whole, well, not so much. Sometimes they mark down on the maps. But on a whole, the brush strokes worked well with the Wii. The characters were great. The art style was beautiful. It, the story was great. On a whole, it was a really fun game. Um, now, it's my mission to play every good Wii game I can while I get a chance. Um, and so I picked up a few games. Some I've already showed you and stuff, but uh, I'll show you again anyways. I picked up Wario Land uh, Shake It, which uh, I played the first level. That's it. Uh, there's a few games I have ahead of it, but uh, Wario Land Shake It. I picked up Kirby Epic Yarn, and uh, I haven't started that yet. Um, I have Donkey Kong Country Returns, which I'm pretty sure I already told you guys about. I'm near the end of that. When I beat this, I'll go into Wario Land. And then I kind of went off on a whim and I picked up two games that I have no, uh, that I had no impressions on. I didn't know anything about. Uh, Trauma Center Under the Knife and Trauma Center uh, Second Opinion. Um, I like Doctors. I like doctor stories. I like surgical stories. My mother's actually a nurse, a uh, head nurse at, uh, at the hospital that she works at. Uh, and, I don't know, when I was growing up, there was always a few things that I wanted to be. Uh, I wanted to be a fireman. Probably not going to happen. Um, I wanted to be a doctor. Not going to happen. Uh, I wanted to be Batman. Could happen. You never know. I, I might just snap one day, and I already wear the shirts all the time. Um, I wanted to be a Power Ranger, um, but you know, I, I, like I said, I always kind of wanted to be a doctor, and uh, I played the first three or so levels in this, and I enjoyed this so far. I'm looking forward to this, so I'm going to play these two and uh, see how I like them. I continue with the series, and uh, last but not least, I also picked up Okami Den, uh, which I will be playing, but I won't play for a bit because I'm a little okami out. Uh, I played, I think, a total of 27 hours worth of Okami. Oh, it was a lot. A great game, but it drained the life out of me. Um, so, yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is the last Wii game I have pre-ordered that I'm going to be picking up, ironically, is The Last Story. And after I beat The Last Story, I'm going to give you guys a video of what Wii games are worth picking up and what... Uh, in general, I'm not going to do what Wii games aren't worth picking up because I'm not, I didn't pick them up. But I'm going to give you guys a video of what Wii games are worth getting. Uh, because I love the Wii. The Wii is, I think, a good system. It may not have as many good games as, say, the PS3. Um, but on a whole, I think it was a good system. And, um, you know, with the Wii U coming out, the Wii games are going to get cheaper. So it's a chance for you guys to pick up the Wii games for cheap. So it's kind of, you know, I kind of want to do it for myself, and I kind of want to do it for you guys. Uh, so I got that happening. Other than that, there's nothing really else going on. Like I said, this is going to be a quick video uh, to what I am thinking is coming up sometime soon. Uh, but I'm going to end this video here. This is Andrew saying peace out for now.